Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com here at CES 2013 talking about the Snapdragon 800. This is the CPU you're going to want in all of your phones. It's a successor to the S4 Pro. Why they didn't call it the S4 Pro 2 or something, I don't know. It's a little confusing with the 800, but we're going to take a look at some reference hardware to see how it performs. Okay, so what we have here is some reference hardware. We've got Asphalt 7, which on most Android devices is lagging. So let's see how the Snapdragon 800 handles this. It's a pretty high-res tablet. Looks some, I think it's 1920 by 1080, just as a frame of reference. Let's take a look. Pretty smooth as butter. Uh, definitely the smoothest Asphalt 7 experience that I've ever seen on an Android phone or tablet. Um, maybe even as good as it is on iOS, dare I say. So, textures are good, frame rate is quite good. So let's stop this real quick and actually just bounce around the operating system quickly. Again, this is reference hardware, there's nothing really on here. Uh, just, just to give you a sense of the speed and fluidity, with a really high res screen, this is just running on a, a jelly bean to keep it snappy, keep it good. And again, it's really difficult to tell. Looks good. This is going to be the, uh, the, C the CPU you want uh, in, your, in your next devices, and uh, we can't wait to see phones and tablets with the 800. And so what we have here is an environment that Qualcomm made to really showcase the power of the Snapdragon 800. So what we have here is some really badass reflections here in the water. Pretty darn smooth. Kind of reminds us of uh, Epic Citadel, uh, if, if, uh, if the Unreal Engine. Just really nice textures, great light reflection throughout the entire thing. And, and, and again, Qualcomm made this internally to kind of showcase the best of the best here in terms of what the Snapdragon 800 can do. 